What does it cost to energize a 2.5 kilowatt resistive heating element for 90 minutes when the local cost per kilowatt hour is 12 cents? Given information, we have power is 2.5 kilowatts and we have time is 90 minutes. And we also have that the cost per kilowatt hour is 12 cents. We'll write that as 0 0.12 dollars. What are we asked to find is the cost in dollars. Now, what do we know? Well, we know that the key to finding cost for energy is first to find energy, so we have energy is power times time. And we know power, and we know time. We have to think a little bit about units, though. Often we want to find the energy in joules. In this case, though, we're given the cost of energy in kilowatt hours, cost per kilowatt hour. So we want to get our energy here in kilowatt hours. Now, power is already in kilowatts, but time is in minutes. So we'll have to convert that actually to hours. So once we find the energy, we will be able to find the cost as the energy, which is W, times the rate, which is our 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So for the solution, we will first find energy in kilowatt hours. So we have energy W is the power, 2.5 kilowatts times the time. Uh, 90 minutes is one and a half hours. So we get in kilowatt hours, and that's 3.75 kilowatt hours. Now, that's not what we were asked to find, that's just the energy. So now we need to multiply that to get the cost is 300 or 3.75 kilowatt hours times 12 cents per kilowatt hour and we get 0 0.45 dollars or 45 cents. That's what it costs to energize this heating element for an hour and a half. A typical 5-ton residential air conditioner is connected to 240 volts and draws about 20 amps of current when the compressor and fan are operating. What does it cost per hour to cool the house if the local energy rate is $0.14 per kilowatt hour? or 14 cents per kilowatt hour. We're given that it's a five ton residential air conditioner, but we don't really need that information for our purposes. So first thing that we need, we have voltage is given as 240 volts. And then we have current also given as 20 amps. And we have the rate, local utility rate is 14 cents or 0.14 dollars per kilowatt hour. And do we have anything else given? And the answer is yes, it's subtle. So I'd like you to stop, maybe maybe hit pause and think about the question, are we given any information about time? Time is actually given as one hour because over here what we're asked to find is what does it cost per hour? So for one hour, what does it cost? We're asked then to find the cost and that's cost per one hour. So we'll take time as one hour. We might need to get that in seconds, but we can easily do that. And now we'll think about what do we know? What relationships do we have? Well, uh, we're asked to find cost, so let's start there. We know that the cost is the energy times the rate. And W is the energy. We are not given W, so we don't know that. We are given the rate, though, right here. So we're going to need another relationship. Well, to find W, energy, we could take the power times the time. Now in this case, the rate is given as uh, dollars per kilowatt hours, so we'll want to express our energy in kilowatt hours again. Uh, we know time is one hour. Do we know the power? No, we don't know the power, so we'll need yet another relationship for this unknown power is, well, we're given I and V, we know the relationship for power and voltage and current, is the power formula. Now we know the voltage, we know the current, that allows us to find the power. 
Once we know the power, we can put that into this relationship and find the energy, since we already know time. And once we know the energy, we can put that into this relationship. Since we know the rate, we can multiply the energy times the rate, and we'll get the cost that we are looking for. So the solution, once again, will take multi-steps. First, we'll start over here. We'll start with calculating the power, and that's going to be the current times the voltage. So we have 20 amps times 240 volts, and that's going to give us 4,800 watts. But we want the units to be in kilowatts, so that's 4.8 kilowatts. Now, second thing, since we know, now know the power, we can find the energy. So the energy is power, which is 4.8 kilowatts, times time, which is one hour. Looking at the units, we will have kilowatts times hours. That's kilowatt hours. That's what we want. So we'll have 4.8 kilowatt hours for our energy. Now that we have energy, we can put that into this relationship. And the last thing, then we can find our cost, is our energy, which we said was 4.8 kilowatt hours, times the rate, which was 0 0.12 dollars per kilowatt hour. Looking at the units, kilowatt hours and kilowatt hours cancel, and 4.8 times 0.12 is equal to about 0 0.672 dollars. Uh, that should have been a 14. I used 14 cents was given. I used 14 cents in the calculation. And that's our answer, or about 67.2 cents. That means that for each hour we operate the air conditioner, it costs us about 67 cents. A certain lighthouse is illuminated with a 300 watt halogen lamp. If the annual cost to power the lamp is $180, what is the local rate for electricity? And we're told to assume that the lighthouse operates an average of 12 hours per day. We'll also have to assume that it operates 365 days a year since we don't want our uh, poor ship captains out there to uh, have to take days off. So what information are we given? Uh, we're given power is 300 watts. Let's write that as 0 0.3 kilowatts. 300 watts is 0.3 kilowatts. And then we are given cost. This is an annual cost of $180 per year. And uh, what else are we given? Time is 12 hours per day. And we also have to assume 365 days per year. What are we asked to find? What is the local rate for electricity? So we're asked to find the rate. Now, what relationship do we know? Well, we know that rate is equal to the cost divided by the energy. We've just rearranged the equation cost is equal to energy times rate. So we just rearranged that equation uh, for rate, since that's what we're asked to solve for. Now, we're trying to find the rate. Do we know the cost? Well, we have a cost per year. Do we know the energy? We don't know the energy, so we'll have to uh, also solve that. So we'll need a, a relationship for energy. Well, we know the energy is power times time. We are given power. And we're given a form of time. We can figure the time out. Uh, we'll need that in hours. So power is in kilowatts. We'll need to get time in hours. Then we'll get energy in kilowatt hours. And that we can use then to find the rate. Looks like we're ready to start the solution process. So first thing is we'll work with time here. Since we know power already, let's work with time. Time is 12 hours per day. And that's times 365 days. So we're talking about one year. Since we're given the, the cost in annual um, figures, we need to convert hours here. So we have days cancel and we'll be left with hours. So 12 times 365 and I get 4,380 hours.
So during a year, the lighthouse will operate for about 4,380 hours. Second thing then, since we have time, we already know power, we can find energy, which is the key to finding a rate. So we have power is 0 0.3 kilowatts, and that will be times the time in hours, 4,380 hours, and you can see the units will be kilowatt hours. And I got... Uh, 1,314 kilowatt hours. Now, once again, that's not what we were asked to find, but now that we know that value, we know energy in kilowatt hours, and we were given the cost, so we're in a position now to find the rate that we were asked to find. So the rate, then, is going to equal the cost, $180, divided by the energy, which we just discovered was 1,314 kilowatt hours hours, and when I did that, I got 0 0.137 dollars per kilowatt hour, or about 13.7 cents per kilowatt hour. So the local rate there, where this lighthouse is located, must be about 13.7 cents per kilowatt hour.